Well, Indian healthcare caters to around 17% of total world population. Isn't that an honor for every healthcare practitioner? We do have Dr. Prakash Garud, who's here with us today, and he's going to share some invaluable information uh, with all of us from his expertise. Let's give him the biggest round of applause. Thank you so much for taking our time and being here with us. Good afternoon, friends. I'm Dr. Prakash Garud. I'm a cancer surgeon again. Uh, I'm from uh, the rural district of Maharashtra, Ahmednagar. I graduated from Mumbai only, from Grand Medical College. Uh, and then I got my special training in cancer surgery from Tata Memorial Hospital for four years and started our cancer center in the rural area of Ahmednagar district. Now with a well equipped with the cancer surgeries, cancer chemotherapy and cancer radiation with the advanced machine from the Varian in USA. Now we are providing the services to the rural people in our area with the government scheme of the Mahatma Jyotiba Phule and the central government scheme of the Ayushman Bharat. So people are getting the free treatment under this category at our center. Almost 30,000 patients has been treated by under this scheme with the free treatment for the cancer. Friends, India giving the health services to the 17% of the population of the world, but if the 80% uh, of the services are given by the private sector and we are com we come in the private sector with a trust hospital that we are running and we are giving services to the rural area. We are talking a about, lot about the rural population, but what we do for the rural population is that the experts are going now to the rural area and giving services, and that is the best thing that has to be come. Because in metropolitan cities, everything is available. In rural area, most of the things are not available, and now they are being made available by these experts. The experts are available in the rural area. Only the things the 80% of the private sector which is doing services in the rural area are not being given priority by the government for their facilities. Because we have an economical constraint, okay. But then the government gives the facilities for the private sector because 80% private sector uh, is serving, giving services to the rural population and rural India. Friends, in India, 8 to uh, 8 lakh patients are every year are new generated in the cancer and this cancer is increasing day by day. And cancer doesn't prevent, it's not only in the specialized in the poor people or the rich people, we know many celebrities are suffering from the cancer. So cancer is, can uh, occur to anyone and we have to be aware about this cancer. Cancer is 50% cancers are preventable. If we take a care of ourselves, if you know the simple, simple uh, the, uh, guidelines, what, how to detect the cancer, it's very easy to, uh, to prevent the cancer and to detect early. That is the primary prevention is to prevent the cancer totally because 50% to 40% cancers are because of the different vices that have tobacco use, cigarette, all those uh, alcohol use, all this. If we prevent that, 50% cancers we can directly prevent and the other cancer we can detect early with we know the early signs and signs and symptoms of the cancer. If you and if every year, every year every person should do a normal test before celebrating the birthday. If you do the normal test from our family doctor, the early can detection of the cancer can be done and can this major this hazard of this cancer can be prevented. Thank you very much. Moving on to our next category of healthcare excellence in Ahmednagar, Maharashtra. The winner is Dr. Prakash Garur. Thank you so much, Dr. Prakash, for joining us today. We earlier heard him talk very, very passionately speak about his field. With over three decades of experience, Dr. Prakash has treated over 3,000 cancer patients in Maharashtra. Dr. Garur regularly conducts cancer camps and cancer awareness campaigns in Ahmednagar and surrounding districts. Thank you very much. Which I got uh, healthcare excellence in oncology in rural India, Ahmednagar State, Maharashtra. Tell me about your organization. Uh, our organization is a public charitable trust where we provide the all the services of the cancer treatment, whether there is the cancer surgery, cancer chemotherapy, and cancer radiation also with advanced technology available. Uh, so what are the, uh, what are the driving factors for you? 
uh, because I wanted to serve the rural population. And so I got my education in Mumbai only itself, in Grand Medical College and Tanda Memorial Hospital. But I wanted to serve the rural population, so I went to the Ahmad Nagar and then started a cancer center there, which is a rural cancer center. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.